Constantine completes it. And it's going to be three yards shy of the first end. He got charged with the fumble on the last possession, but Kirk, I think it's pretty difficult given how quickly Tizino got through there to really say he was at fault. Yeah, <laughs> number six in terms of fumbles for Marvin Kinsey on the season. They fake the give to Kinsey. Going deep in single coverage, and the pass is intercepted. They wanted Dante Wright. You still like the idea of great job by the cornerback, Luke Barku. But at the same time, the true freshman, Dante Wright, there's two things here, Mike. You got to run the red line. The red line is the imaginary line out there. Change of quarterback here for Colorado State. It's Justice McCoy, and his first pass attempt of the day is intercepted. So down by 14, they go to Justice McCoy, the redshirt sophomore, making the first pass attempt of his career, and that's how it ends. <laughs> I'm not so sure my first play coming into the game. Better than you come on the road to Colorado State, and you're forcing a quarterback change. Well, it's set in at least pencil right now. McCoy intercepted on his first throw, and he's intercepted on his second. Are you kidding me? Luke Boku with his third interception of the night. Well, I know hockey season is almost upon us, Mike, but Barku with the hat trick, <laughs> and that's just easy. You need to be methodical here and try and get back into a rhythm. Chambers still has one completion, but it was 45 yards. Chambers, there's completion number two. Conway still short of the line, so you have third and two coming. Chambers on second and ten. Deep shot, Chambers looking long, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Barku, who has another critical pick for the Aztecs. Cowboys take a shot. His fifth INT of the year, and this one just may wrap it up for the Aztecs. Ox running, and they're not going to get this one off till there's less than 10 on the play clock. Aether makes the catch. That's a long throw to make for Josh Love. Barku in coverage. Gaither makes the catch. So now you're in the second and 15. Oblad is chased, and Oblad is sacked again. This time, Luke Barku coming on the corner blitz. Jonah Tavai was in there. Troy Cassidy was in there. It's a group effort play. You're going to see off the left-hand side of your screen is going to be Barku over the right tackle. That's a mismatch, but there was some pressure off the other side. Lee, nowhere to go. He was trying to flank that defense, but the defense got to him in a hurry. That's a loss on the play. A chance to make that catch. Third and seven for the Bulldogs. Outside the 25, Reyna. Has time. Offensive line doing a pretty good job here. That time ran out, and he throws another dangerous pass. It's picked off again. Thrown by Reyna. Well, they're all ball hawks in this secondary, but Luke Bark, who is one of the best ones, and he just reads where the quarterback's throwing. Reyna really gets his body twisted. He gets nothing on the football down the field, and that's an easy play by Luke Barku. Bulldogs down 10. Close to eight minutes to go. Reyna being pressured. Reyna going backwards, just heaves it, and it's intercepted. And I have no idea what Reyna was doing there. Overthrow, and he's trying to get the ball to Cam Sutton, who's 6'6". The ball sails over his head. Barku. Continues to move along. A minute 38 left in the first half. Hawaii leads 7-0. Off play action. Paul McDonald. Out of the hands of his receiver and picked off. Off the deflection. And you mentioned he's the leading the nation. He was second coming in the game with seven. Now he has eight. A lot to go. Eight and four. And win six straight to end the regular season. His play is going absolutely nowhere. Katoa. The pursuit 